and I'm here in support of the resolution that was read. And I have a, a, a different, uh, unique perspective on things, because I traveled with the super, a superintendent during the primaries all over the state who was addressing the transgender issues, the sexualization of children. And we happened to talk with, or after such a talk, an 11-year-old girl came out. And um, she was just asking about, are you against this? I mean, isn't it, you know, shouldn't we be more accepting with these? Shouldn't we be more accepting? And as the questions were being asked, she, she shared with us that she played on the girls' volleyball team, 11 years old, played on the girls' volleyball team. And there, and she knew it was a man. It wasn't, a, you know, just because you're in a, in a dress or you're wearing certain clothes does not make you a female. She knew that it, one of the, their, their student coaches was a, a man, and he would come into their locker room, and he would just stand there at the door staring at them. And she was asked, just at you? No, he just stares at us, all of us girls, as we're changing. And the, 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 the issue, yes, that's, that's a horrible thing, but the bigger thing was she felt bad because she's being indoctrinating that this is natural, this is normal. And so she felt bad, something's wrong with her because she was uncomfortable as he's watching her. And I don't know, you know, it's, I have never had an 11-year-old girl, but I would imagine they don't even want their fathers in the rooms with them when they're changing, let alone some strange individual who says I'm, I'm, I identify as a woman in the locker room. So I would think, you know, that we're, we're, we're all going to have to answer to a much high, higher power for our role in the destruction, and it is the destruction of children. We all had our issues growing up. We all maybe had some idiosyncrasies, some things, problems that we had growing up, but I don't think we were ever told that the reason why you have these problems is because you're really a girl or you're really a boy, basically telling them that God, the God of uh, the universe, he made a mistake when creating you. And man, fallible man, we know what's right, and we can change you into what you really should be. So I think, you know, we all need to take a deep look within ourselves and know that you will stand before a, a higher power, and you will be asked about your role in what is, is the destruction of children in this generation. Thank you. So listening to that woman talk about so many issues there. It, first of all, this is a two-step process. So first they indoctrinate the kids to think this is normal. So when an adult is doing it, they think it is normal. But this poor girl felt bad because one, she knew in her heart and in her soul and where you know right and wrong, she knew that this wasn't right, but she has these people who are basically grooming her to think it's okay, confuse her completely. And it breaks my heart as a mother. It breaks my heart as one who cares for all children. This adult is clearly sick and anyone that allows this to happen is complicit with a crime. And when she said towards the end, you have to basically identify your role in all of this are you just gonna let it happen? And I, for one, am not gonna let it happen. And I think none of us should. And we need to start speaking up. We need to start speaking out. We can't think, oh, I'm sure some other mom did, or I'm sure some other dad did. We have to do it. You might lose a friend along the way. You might have some hard conversations along the way, but at the end of the day, you know what's the most important? Right and wrong. When you're laying there at night and you can't sleep because you didn't speak up or a child was harmed, you have to realize that is on you. Because because these conversations are uncomfortable, they create chaos, they create unpleasant situations at your workplace or country club or at PTA or the restaurant down the street. Tough 